In this video, it's the Furitech, the FX118. This is the Fury 18th scale brushless crawler. So a lot of folks out there say this may be the best small crawler that you can get. So I'm curious to get it out of the box and see what it looks like. Here's what you get. Obviously the truck itself comes with a battery that is already loaded in there. You have this really nice controller, honestly. I think this is a Dumbo RC unit, if I remember right. Um, very small, which means it's somewhat lightweight, but I was surprised that even though it's that small, it still fits my hand really nicely. Good, should have good control. The Dumbo RC products have been really good in the past, so happy to see this one. Um, I think this would be a good fit for it. And then there is, uh, in here itself, it has a charger. There is a bumper that you can put on the front. There's clearly a manual. There's some different springs, tools, and then it looks like there's actually some mirrors here. So you can, and I see holes right here in the side of the body. So you can actually go ahead and add some scale mirrors onto the truck. But let's now take a look at the truck itself. This is obviously what we're here to really talk about. And one of the first thing I notice is that when you set it down, oh, look at that suspension. It's got a nice droop set into it. That's probably the best suspension that I've seen coming from a mini comp crawler. And we'll have to see how it does when it will actually drive it, but just looking at it like this looks very good. The body has a bunch of graphics, fairly nice design. It looks rather large if I'm honest. Like looking at it right here, it looks like the body could be shortened noticeably, maybe shrunk down a little bit. I don't know, hard to tell. Obviously getting a body's right is always a very difficult thing. So, um, but overall the, the paint scheme, the blue with the flames, carbon fiber and all that, it's fun. We do have a light bar up here. I'm seeing wires coming from it. So I'm assuming that is a fully functioning light bar. Um, as noted, we can put a bumper on the front. Uh, it probably won't just because bumpers tend to just get in the way of things. Tires feel pretty good actually. Standard 1.0 it looks like tire pattern looks really really nice um, and and the feel of just like the stickiness of the compound means yeah, maybe it'll do pretty well really the magic to this truck is underneath the body so let's get that off so underneath here this is where the secret to this whole thing lies the brushless outrunner furitech setup here esc mounted in the back receiver up here at the top uh two cell yes two cell lipo right here in the middle yeah, servo axle mounted servo up on the front with these portal axles nice low center of gravity aluminum chassis you know honestly this thing looks like a pretty nice a pretty nice piece as you look at it just straight out of the box one thing i'm really curious with this though is this price is at 199 200 dollars for this truck and it's direct competitors as the SEX24 and the TRX4M, both of which are actually about $50-ish, plus or minus, depending on which one you buy, about $50 is cheaper. So how do those compare to this, and is it really worth the extra $50 or not? So this is actually my modified SCX24. It started life as the C10 truck. It obviously has had now a lot of things done to it and there's very little actual axial left on it. Um, and honestly, it doesn't get used very much. So the first thing that I notice when I compare here is the length difference. So this SCX24 being the 24th scale and having this smaller body on it definitely makes it look dramatically smaller than than this Furitech Fury, no doubt whatsoever. Shorter wheelbase for sure. When you look at the width, just slightly narrower also on the width when you look at it that way. And especially since I've put this you know, aftermarket frame on it here, obviously it's dramatically smaller overall just from that standpoint. So with these two, much, much smaller. If I bring the TRX4M in here, now it's a whole different story. Now we're looking at basically the same size. When you look at the wheelbase, when you look at the width, when we're looking at the general size of the vehicles, the TRX4M almost makes the Fury look small in this case. So that's kind of surprising. It definitely seems like these might be a little bit more of a head-to-head -head comparison. $50 more expensive. Why is that worth it? Is it worth it? So a couple things compared to the SCX24, I would say the controller that it comes with dramatically better. I would say the $50 is most likely going to be worth it for most people just due to the size. Um, honestly, size with these small crawlers makes a huge difference. And the fact that this one is that little bit longer wheelbase, a little bit wider means it's going to perform better out of the box. 
But of course, the true big deal is that brushless setup in there. Honestly, just the $50 alone is paying for that brushless setup that you're probably otherwise going to end up putting in this at some point anyway. So that means that the price difference between all of these immediately gets washed when you just consider alone the ESC and motor that are already in here. But enough talking about it. Let's get it out there. I have a local indoor micro crawler course at the Cookville Hobbies, and we're going to go take it over there and see what how it does straight out of the gate as we're driving it we're seeing the truck definitely some traction issues like really a little bit of a struggle with these tires maybe it's just the exact surface that we're on maybe different tires for this surface would be better but a little bit of a struggle with that straight out of the box as we're driving around here noticing it definitely seems a little top heavy i don't know if that aluminum frame is really worth the weight compared to maybe if you could get like a carbon fiber frame to put on it obviously this is absolutely bone stock no brass on the front or anything like that that would definitely be helpful um the body being a little bit big with that roll cage and the lights up there catching on things or hurting by increasing the center of gravity but the absolute magic here is that motor and esc the slow speed throttle control the power when you need it oh man i mean that is a huge highlight Back from the test, and you know, it was mixed a little bit, if I'm honest. Um, traction was not there, but that may be just the surface that we were on. That's one of those, like, you know, uh, expandable foam, then painted kind of surfaces. So maybe on dirt, rock, other things like that, maybe this these tires would do a little bit better. Again, the oh my gosh, though, the motor and ESC, the throttle control, the design and everything from the motor and ESC, wow. Like, that is absolutely amazing uh center of gravity i think might have been an issue there was a lot of times in which the truck wanted to tip over and roll on us but you know some brass down on the front maybe some ability to put a lighter weight body on it or to otherwise look at reducing that the height of that center of gravity can make a really really big difference so i'm curious because of that i want to drive it here at the house on my backyard crawler course i got some dirt i got some rocks i got some wood i got some stuff like that i want to take it out there and yes it is more tenth scale focused but i'm curious how will these tires do in that surface
you know, and that's why we actually do the testing. Um, <laughs> I did not expect that. This truck outperformed every other micro crawler that I've ever had out there on my backyard crawler course ever. I mean, and yes, that's a tent scale course. Yes, there were things that it still could not go over, but there were things it made me go, hmm, I've never tied that before with a micro crawler. Let me try that. And then I would do it and it would perform adequately. Like I can only imagine if we could reduce the body weight, get rid of those lights, reduce the weight of the body itself, maybe reduce the weight of the chassis, put some weight put some brass up there on the front axle of this thing it might really really be a very solid crawler obviously maybe some different tires depending on the surface you're on thing's pretty cool man i'm pretty happy with that it surprised me i think is it worth big question is it worth the 50 dollars over the trx 4m or the axial scx 24 yeah yeah i think if you're gonna crawl anywhere near box stock the the power, the control, everything that you have with that motor and ESC in here, um, the performance that you get straight out of the box is definitely, definitely worth it. Uh, I hope that was useful for you today. If you have any questions about anything I've done or what I had experience with this vehicle, leave it down in the comments below. And if you're curious about other vehicles I've reviewed, those will be popping over here to your right. So thank you for watching. We'll see you in one of those videos. Goodbye.